Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In this video, we're going to be showing you how we do a big stamp concrete pool deck. Now, this is going to be part one of a part three series. So, this is going to be the forming and the prep work. We're going to show you how we get this thing ready. Uh, right now, what we're doing is we're actually forming up the inside coping of the pool. And we're using what's called the Z pool forms. So when the pool comes, this is a vinyl pool. When the pool doesn't have a coping on it already, then we got to put this type of coping on it. And, you know, we install these quite a bit. This is a specialty trade, putting these, these forms on. Not everybody knows how to do this or wants to do it. It's quite a bit of work, but it, it makes the pool look really, really nice. So the concrete's going to overhang the pool by about two to two and a half inches after we strip these forms off. And it's going to have a chiseled rock face to it so it's going to look really cool but it's a little bit of a process putting these on a little bit of a learning curve so that's why i'm bringing you this this whole stamp concrete patio in in a three-part series so i don't have to make it run too fast now this video is a little bit longer than normal of mine but i just wanted to make sure i go in enough details so for you guys that want to learn how to do this you know you, you get a pretty good idea about how to do it now, for those of you guys that don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. I also own everythingaboutconcrete.com and this YouTube channel where I bring you all the insights and all my experience about concrete flat work. I've been doing this for 39 years and I'm sharing everything I know on these videos. So if you want to learn about concrete, especially specialty concrete and concrete flat work, floors, slabs, stuff like that, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. So what we're doing is is we're installing these forms onto the pool. The pool has a little metal strip around it that holds on the vinyl liner. And these pool forms are made to, to slide right onto that metal strip. So they're just friction fit, but they're pretty tight. And then uh, it has they have curved forms and then they have straight ones. So you can do all kinds of different shaped pools. So we're tapping on the forms there. Each one is about eight feet long. Um, they connect on there pretty, pretty nicely. We use a rubber mallet to tap them on. And we just go all the way around the pool. This one's pretty easy. It's a 40 by 20 pool. So we use quite a few of the straight ones and then the curved ones just in those corners and around the ladder area. So right now Luke's tapping on the forms and me and my other two workers there the girls one's my daughter and one's pretty much my other daughter but she's she's my daughter's best friend they're both college girls they're putting on the they're sliding on the tops to those forms and those tops kind of hold that that red rubber insert which is the pool form face they hold it tight to the form so they're sliding on those tops and then we'll put in the rubber form face inserts all the way around the inside of this pool and then we're going to start forming the outside so this pool is going to be the pool deck is going to be four feet wide on two of the sides it's going to be 15 feet wide on this side over here to the right and about eight feet wide there by the where the ladder goes down into the or the steps go down into the pool so we're just putting all the pieces together. It's kind of like a little, almost like a little puzzle. You got to put on one thing before you can put on another. But once, once you get the hang of this, it's really not too hard. It's just a process. You got to plan in advance for it. So if you're, if you're pricing out a pool deck like this with these type of forms, you know, you really got to plan half, three quarters of a day, just getting this thing ready. And then on the other end, when you're all done you got to plan on another half a day or so just stripping the forms off and cleaning them so it, it adds another whole day to the process mm -hmm. you can see the girls are going around now laying the forms in place and then Luke's coming around and tightening it down once he tightens it down that's it now it's ready to pour again so the only other thing we do after this before we pour is we spray on some we actually spray on some Pam cooking oil so the concrete doesn't stick to it and they they peel off real easy when it comes time to strip it. So there we are, and now we're starting to lay out for the outside. 
This is a four inch thick pool deck. We're gonna use 4,000 PSI. We're gonna have wire mesh in there. We also put the fiber mesh to it. And it's gonna have a nice stamp concrete finish. Like I said, this is part one of a three part series. So part two will be the pouring and the stamping. And then part three will be the cleaning and the sealing and the sawing. So it's, it's quite a little process to get one of these done. This is a pretty good sized pool deck. All in all, it's close to 1,500 square feet. We're going to do the whole pour in one day and stamp it in one day. So hey, if you, if you guys see up there on, in the left-hand corner, I've got a, a Facebook page, Everything About Concrete. If you guys haven't joined that Facebook page, you know, check it out. I, I put down all kinds of different things every single day on that. We're posting every day to that. Uh, little little tips and tricks about things we do, where we are, what we're doing for work that day. Um, a lot of good insights in there. Sometimes sometimes we'll go live too, so definitely check that out. Everything about concrete, you know, my Facebook business page. And stay tuned for the end of the video. I got a special announcement at the end for you guys that that watch this whole thing. So uh, I'm going to show you guys. Or tell you guys a, a special announcement so stay tuned to the end to check that out and we'll talk about that a little bit later so what we're doing now is we're just screwing together the forms we use screws whenever we do forming we just like the way the screws hold better than nails they also come out a lot easier a little bit more expensive but you can use those screws over and over again they don't bend so what we're doing to get that board parallel with the pool is we're measuring across 15 feet and then I'm going to stake that right there and screw it and then we're going to go up the other end and do the same thing get our 15 feet and then we'll run our string to get that side parallel. As you can see this is a pretty good sized pool deck. I'd say most of the pool decks the average size is you know 800 to 1000 square feet. This one's 1500, so they're gonna have plenty of plenty of pool deck to put on their patio furniture. Eventually, they'll have to get a fence too. This is in we're pouring as you saw in the beginning of the video in beautiful Freeport, Maine, which is home to LL Bean. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of LL Bean. If you've heard of LL Bean, give, give me an LL Bean down there in the comments. If you don't know what LL Bean is, it's just a it's a huge retail store that has been around for you know forever and ever. You can check them out, Google them, LL Bean. They sell all kinds of sporting goods and equipment and uh, clothes and camping stuff, fishing stuff, just about everything you can imagine. Like I said, we're working probably about a mile from the LL Bean store. So you can see we're pulling a string, we got our two 15 foot marks that we staked and screwed, and now we're going to get those ends that extend past the pool. So we, we pull a string one way to get that one end, and then we pull a string the other way to get that other end, and then we can stake it, screw it, and then we're done with that side as far as getting it parallel. And we do that on all four sides. So all together, this, this deck is... 54 by 40 you know and then minus the pool for the actual concrete square footage this took us a good part of a, a day to get this all formed up the four of us so we're going to get that screwed and stake we'll get the other side and then we'll get on to this eight foot side then there's also a little walkway that goes with this you'll see at the end Can see right there to the left you can see where that grounds compacted there's going to be a six foot by about 22 foot walkway that we got to add to it there's nothing really fast about this you know if you're going to do it and do it right you just take your time make sure you got one side perfectly parallel then the next then the next just one step at a time there's no sense of hurry, and you don't want to have to do something like this twice. Especially if it's stamped. I mean, these people are paying a lot of money to have a nice stamped concrete pool deck, and they're going to want it 
done right the first time. So how many of you guys out there listening or watching actually do stamp concrete? If you do stamp concrete, you know, give me a stamp concrete down there in the comments. If you want to learn how to do stamp concrete, then just let me know down there. Say I want to learn stamp concrete. And I'll come out with a I'll come out with a video that step by step shows you, you know, how to how to get on the concrete, when to get on it, the the process step by step how to do this stuff. This is a good trade to know, you know, if you're just doing concrete floors or concrete slabs or you're thinking about just getting into the business, then you definitely got to want to know how to stamp concrete and you're going to want to know how to do it right. Cuz it doesn't look good if you don't do it right. But if you do do it right, you can make some really good money doing it. You can see Darren's got the grade stick, we've got the laser set up. For you guys that, you know, you're looking to use some of the same tools I do, the, all the tools I use are down in the description. I've used a bunch of different ones and, you know, we found some ones that we really like. This laser is one of them, this Topcon laser. That's down there. You can check that out. I would highly recommend getting a laser if you don't have one. We use that thing every single day. So what we'll do is we'll get the, the grade of the pool coping. And then, you know, we'll drop the outside board depending on how far away it is from the pool. That four foot side will drop it about three quarters of an inch. This 15 foot side will probably have about an inch and a half slope away from the pool. As you can see, when we get ready to pour this thing, we're not going to pump it. We're going to tailgate this from the truck, so we'll end up we'll end up backing a truck right in there. The guys that did the the earthwork here, the excavation, they did a really good job. They compacted this thing really hard, so we'll be able to back a concrete truck right in there and pour it right out of the chutes. So we're going around, we're screwing everything to grade. Once we get the grade set on the the outside of this thing and then we're going to start doing that walkway we've got to put the wire to it still we like making sure everything pitches away from the pool a little bit we don't want the rainwater to go back into the pool they don't need to fill the pool up every time it rains We're pretty picky about how things pitch. We're gonna end up, you know, when we when we pour this thing, we pour it probably about a, a five inch slump. So the slope holds really, really nice. You don't want it sagging away from the pool at all. So we'll keep the concrete right about a five. It's, it's a good workable mix, especially for stamping. There's enough moisture in it. It doesn't dry too, too fast on us. But I like it when the water runs away from the pool. I definitely don't like water running into the pool. You can see the girls are starting to lay the wire mesh now. And we're going to leave it right on the ground for now. We're going to pull it up as we pour because we're going to have, like I said, we're going to have to back a concrete truck in there. Sometimes we'll put uh, these things, these little metal things called chairs under there to help hold it up on the ground. But we're not going to do that on this one. We'll just pull it up into the concrete. Now what Luke and I are doing is we're putting this this uh, strip around the the chair or the stair part of the pool that's going to hold our forms. The pool guy didn't put any metal strip around those stairs, so the Z Pool Form Company has their own kind of kind of strip that you can attach their forms to. So that's what we're doing now. It's really bendable, so we have to screw it into the pool and then we can attach the forms to that. Those Z pool forms, they can be used for concrete countertops too. They have a, you know, they got a pretty pretty neat website. If you want to check them out, Concrete Countertop Solutions. I've bought a ton of those forms from them, guys.
I didn't bring the, the bendable part of the form for the stairs today, so we'll we'll do that tomorrow. But we can get at least get the strip on that we gotta attach it to. As you can see, everything's coming together. The forms are going up, getting the gray, the wires going in. We're getting this thing ready to pour. You definitely want to pick a good day to pour on too. You know, when it comes to stamp concrete, I don't take any chances with rain. If there's a chance of a shower or anything, we wait. You can see Luke and I are taking our time. Or Darren, that's Darren. Darren and I are taking our time attaching those. We you can't mess up on something like that and put a hole in the pool that's not supposed to be there, so you got to make sure that you do it right. It's probably, that pool water right now is, is I think around 58, 60 degrees. It hasn't really been that warm up here yet. So, I mean, no one's even swimming in the pool and it's almost the beginning of summer. But once we get this pool deck done for these people, they'll be able to get their pool cleaned out and then uh, turn on the pool heater and start using the pool. Most people in Maine, you know, when they when they install a pool like this, they usually put it in one year and then they let it they let the dirt and the gravel around it sit through the winter before they do the concrete part. That's what these people did too. They had the pool installed in the fall last fall. And now it's it's late spring, almost early summer that we're putting the concrete in here. So everything's settled, nothing nothing the ground's not going to sink anymore. So don't have to worry about the pool deck settling. As you can see, attaching those forms is, is a little bit of a process. Sometimes, you know, the pool companies, like I said, they'll have a plastic or a fiberglass coping already on the pool that we can just pour up against, especially on the vinyl ones. But they didn't, they didn't do that on this one. So, you know, installing those pool forms like that, that's a whole separate part of my pricing usually. I charge by the lineal foot to do those. You know, and that adds quite a bit to the pool price. As you can see, it's quite a process. And it's just as much of a process to strip them and take them off and then clean them after. So, I mean, in some cases, you could be talking 30 40 to $50 a lineal foot, depending on the size of the pool. And then the stamp concrete on top of that. So we just about got done around those stairs. Then we can finish up forming that walkway. Again, we're gonna have this is a three-part series, guys. Part two is gonna be part two is gonna be the pouring and the stamping. Make sure you you tune in for that, which will be on Monday. If if you are watching this on a Friday, which is when it went out, it'll be next Monday. Um, and then part three will be the when we saw it, clean it, and seal it. So I'll show you guys how we do all that stuff. We're just using a stone textured stamp for this pool. It's not going to have any real lines in it or everything. It's just going to have the texture of the stone. And it's a really nice look. Makes for a nice pool deck. Makes for a nice patio too. Alright, so we're, we're getting we're getting up to that walkway now. We're gonna we're gonna do that eight foot side, then we're gonna curve those two corners right there into that walkway. I like using a curved edge on the inside like that better than a square edge. Like I said, guys, I know I know this video is a little bit longer than some of my normal ones, but I want you guys to get a really good idea of how to do a pool deck like this, how to form it up, how to get it ready, what it takes. It's quite a bit of work, and I, I don't want you guys, you know, shortchanging yourself if you're in business for yourself. 
you know, and you're, you're, you're just learning how to charge people how to do this stuff, you know, you really got to charge for your time, your labor, your knowledge, your experience. So, I mean, I hope that you watching this and seeing just what kind of a process it is kind of helps give you some type of insight as to how much work it is and what you can charge for it. I mean, we normally get between 12 and $15 a square foot to do a stamp concrete pool deck. And to do a just a regular broom finish deck, you know, we're sometimes depending on the size, obviously. But here in Maine, I'm usually, you know, seven, eight, could be up to nine bucks a square foot to do just a regular broom finish. And that would include either the tool joints, hand tool joints, or saw joints. There's definitely a lot of work to it, getting it ready. You know, and then you gotta be really fussy when you pour it and finish it. It's gotta come out perfect. And then usually you gotta come back another day and strip it. So it's not like just going and pouring a simple concrete floor. You, you gotta charge for your time. As you can see, I reset the laser, getting my height of my pool again. We've got to make sure everything pitches the right way. We're pitching that about an inch, inch and a quarter away from the pool. And then that walkway is going to pitch its own way because the walkway is kind of headed back uphill to the driveway. So we're going to slope that a little bit differently away from the pool. It doesn't look like it's uphill, but it, it is. So again, guys, stay tuned for, you know, coming right up. There's a, I gotta, I'm going to have a special announcement for you guys that are watching. It should be coming up shortly. We need a couple more boards here, so we're gonna we're gonna cut a couple boards for the end. Get that screwed on. We'll get this piece uh, squared up, staked, set to grade, and then that'll be it for today. We'll come back tomorrow and pour this thing. We're making sure that thing is six feet wide. That's what we're doing right now. From one side to the other. And then that we want that walkway to line up with the, the ladder that goes down into the pool. So, I mean, that's why it's taken us a little bit of time to make sure everything's right. So when you're walking down that walkway and you're looking into the pool, everything just looks good and it lines up. You can see we're attaching the curved forms now. That's just really lawn edging, guys. That thin fiberglass form is, is lawn edging, but it gives you a really nice curve when you're doing concrete. All right, guys, this is a special announcement. You know, I just opened up a private Facebook group called Concrete Ninjas. The link is going to be in the description below. And in that group, you know, I'm going to be posting stuff almost daily about the things we're doing that day, you know, tips, tricks, insights. So if you want to be part of that, that special group, that private group, then you can hit that link and ask, ask to join. And then we can, you can ask questions that way. You know, I'll be in that group every so often answering questions. Uh, I'll be posting live stuff to it. And uh, that's just a good way. You know, for, for you to, to learn more, to ask more questions, and for me to get more content to you guys that hopefully can help you guys learn how to do this kind of stuff. 
So again, Concrete Ninjas, private Facebook group, guys. Go ahead down there and, and hit that link and join now. If, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and sub subscribe now. Check out my, my business page, Everything About Concrete, on Facebook. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.